Oh, hello. Do come in. Now, many people say that laughter is the best medicine. However, laughter is not real medicine. Please take your real medicine now. If you haven't got any medicine, try borrowing it from a relative or purchasing it from a street corner. As the side effects begin to kick in, please enjoy the rest of the program. Or I'm telling the police! This is not medicine. Okay, madam, so the computer has been restarting itself uh, no boundaries and correct. Yeah, it just turns itself off after about two minutes. Okay, what I want you to do, please, is try going to your support menu. No, 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 I've, I've tried that and it still does it. Okay, if you bring up the Explorer window for me and... No, that hasn't helped either. Right, if you go to your email settings... Email settings? <laughs> no, I haven't touched those. Okay, madam, have you tried the computer tower physically itself? I haven't, actually. If you go to the tower for me... All right, okay, yep. And Hang on, let me just if you see if open I can... the side can of the tower... There he is. Oh, yeah. He's there. Yeah, 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 no, I, I see what you mean. Um, I think it might be dead, though. No, madam, he has just resting. Oh, okay, all right. Well, well I'll just wait, then. Okay. Okay, thanks, bye. Knife amnesty. We're scrapping it. Under the last government, it cost £250 million to take 2,000 knives off of our streets. In the meantime, 120 British children went missing and sexual misconduct rose by four whole percent. That's unacceptable. It's a dangerous world out there, and if anything, we should be giving our children more knives. We promise to provide every child with a knife of their own by the age of 10. <laughs> child on child crime? I'd rather my son went outside to play with a 13-year-old boy than into a basement to be played with by a 30-year-old man. Give them a knife. Save their life. I've got to say, I was very, very impressed. He seems to be making some really good points um, that I followed through. I've always sold knives to children, but now I can sell a lot more. Now, Miss Farns, don't you worry about a thing. We're going to find the creep that did this to you, and we're going to make him pay. Do you understand? That girl. Now, what color was his hair? Gray. Good. Did you get a good look at his eyes? Uh huh. What color were these eyes of his? If I had to say, I'd guess they were gray. Top job, Angel. Did he have a beard? Yes. Same color as his hair? Not quite. It was some. Um... Like any of these? I guess it was this one. No, wait! This one! So that'd be gray? Yes. Okay. Is there anything else you can think of? Anything at all that can help us apprehend this guy? Yes. He was black. Please, do not attempt to touch the men and women you see upon your screen. They're not real. If you do, your hands may become dusty. Dustly. Right, test results in this morning. Great news, everyone did much better than expected. Now on a side note, some of you may have noticed that I'm looking rather tired this morning. Poor. That's because I spent most of last night in a police cell being questioned after the body of a mixed race prostitute was found in the back of my Mondeo. Know anything about that? <laughs> Boys at the back. <laughs> Sorry, sir. <laughs> well, if it happens again, notes will be going home. Now, television. Oh. 
I'm afraid I have some bad news. Your husband, he, he didn't survive the operation. <laughs> but I haven't been completely honest with you. The reason the cameras have been following me this past week is nothing to do with open heart surgery. I'm not really a doctor. I'm actually a fully qualified electrician. Oh, thank God. So Tim is No, he is dead. But if you need any lights changing or, you know, some new sockets fitted... Next week on The Secret Tradesman, Ken, a carpet fitter from West Wokingham... It'd be something different. Stuff. A tad more exciting. ...goes undercover as a fireman in South London. No! My baby's in there! Please! I haven't been completely honest with you. <laughs> Did you enjoy tonight's programme? Perhaps you might have learned something along the way. Wouldn't that be marvellous? We've learned that this is not medicine. This is not medicine. And this certainly is not medicine. So, what is medicine? Perhaps we'll learn about that next week. For now, I hope you enjoyed tonight's programme. And I certainly hope you'll enjoy the next programme you watch as well. And the next. And the next. Although, not the one after that. I hear it's shit! Give it a try. No, it's still not working. <sighs>